The devastation caused by the first use of nuclear weapons is an unforgettable chapter in history. In an effort to end the war, American President Truman made the fateful decision to drop an atomic bomb on Japan. The British, Chinese, and United States governments have given the Japanese people adequate warning of what is in store for them. The resulting destruction remains unparalleled to this day. In the aftermath of the bomb's detonation, within a mere five or six seconds, the entire landscape transformed into a haunting shade of yellow. The heat was so intense that it felt as though the sun had made direct contact with the earth. Suddenly, after just a few seconds, a deafening roar filled the air and darkness engulfed everything. The tragic scene unfolded. Countless people suffered severe burns, their bodies charred or crushed under falling buildings. In a desperate attempt to escape the spreading fire that had consumed the entire city, hundreds of individuals resorted to jumping into the river for salvation. Red debris was scattered everywhere, exposing white bones from the corpses. On August 6, 1945, the United States unleashed a nuclear weapon, forever changing the city of Hiroshima, Japan. This marked the first instance of employing such a destructive weapon in warfare. Merely three days later, another weapon descended upon Nagasaki, devastating the entire city. And this is how the nuclear era began. There are currently nearly 14,000 atomic weapons scattered around the world, each one capable of causing devastating destruction. Despite advancements in technology and increasing concerns for peace, these powerful weapons continue to hold significant influence over global politics. One notable example is the atomic bomb known as Little Boy. The devastation caused in Hiroshima was equivalent to that of 2,100 tons of conventional bombs. However, what set it apart from conventional bombs were the toxic effects of radiation. Within 20 to 30 days of the explosion caused by Little Boy in Hiroshima, radiation led to the deaths of 6,000 survivors. There was an increase in cases of leukemia following the bomb blasts that occurred in both cities. Additionally, there was an observed rise in other types of cancer, such as thyroid, lung, and breast cancer. The survivors of these bombings were given the name Hibakusha, which refers to individuals affected by the explosion. Sadly, these individuals faced severe discrimination. In the aftermath of the devastating radiation events, survivors were unfairly treated with suspicion, the way carriers of a contagious disease might be it became commonplace to consider them unsuitable for marriage, and they faced considerable challenges in finding employment as well. On March 28, 1979, a combination of mechanical failure and human error led to a partial meltdown in the nuclear reactor at Three Mile Island. As a result, radioactive gases were released into the atmosphere surrounding the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant in Pennsylvania. The partial meltdown of the Three Mile Island was not very destructive since there were no deaths due to the incident. However, two million people had to suffer from radiation effects to some extent. After Hiroshima, humanity's next encounter with radiation occurred in Chernobyl. The Chernobyl disaster was an atomic accident that took place on Saturday, April 26, 1986, in reactor number four of the Chernobyl power plant. This explosion and fire at Ukraine's Chernobyl atomic plant marked a dark chapter in the history of the civil nuclear industry when largest amount of uncontrolled radiation was released. During a safety test on a nuclear reactor, an incident occurred. The purpose of this test was to establish a safety valve that would ensure the circulation of cooling in the reactor during a maintenance shutdown. However, unexpectedly, the electricity supply dropped to almost zero. Despite their efforts, the operators were only able to partially restore the required power for the test. This sent the reactor into an unstable state. An uncontrolled nuclear chain reaction was initiated in the reactor, 
due to a combination of unstable conditions and several design flaws. The immediate death toll of the Chernobyl disaster, internationally recognized, stands at 31. According to the United Nations, only 50 deaths can be directly linked to the tragedy. In 2005, according to an estimate, 4,000 to 9,000 people died as a result of radiation exposure. The Fukushima nuclear reactor failure was the next nuclear disaster, which occurred on March 11, 2011, following the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. When the earthquake was detected, the active reactors automatically shut down their power generation fission reactions. Due to shutdowns and other grid supply problems, the power supply to reactors failed and their emergency diesel generators were automatically turned on. As a result, three parts of the nuclear reactor melted and three hydrogen explosions took place. From March 12 to 15, units one, two, and three experienced a release of radioactive contamination. As a result of the accident, the government had no choice but to declare a mass evacuation in the surrounding area due to the radiation that was released into the atmosphere. Although no fatalities occurred at the site, the estimated death toll from radiation amounts to nearly 573. Despite the absence of immediate casualties in the recent Fukushima incident, safety precautions cannot eliminate the ongoing risk that this source of clean energy poses to humanity. But why stop at just one video? Join our ever-growing community of curious minds by subscribing today. And the best part, it's absolutely free.